today I am going to be giving you guys a very honest Buff Bunny activewear review. So I'm just gonna be going over the pieces and what I think about the quality. Honestly, I feel like a non-sponsored or non-affiliated Buff Bunny review is hard to come by. I bought these all with my own money. I have a handful of things that I've picked up. I don't have like the whole store, but I think I have a good variety to share with you guys and give you the tea. Surprisingly, all of these items I'm gonna be talking about, you can find on the website in certain colors or in certain sizes. So Buff Bunny, I feel like it's getting better about stocking a decent bit of stock when they launch on their website. This isn't one of those brands that sells out right at launch, which I'm very grateful for. That's a win for Buff Bunny already. And their shipping is not too bad either. I mean, they're from Texas, I'm in Georgia. It took like a week for me to get these items, which ain't too bad. I'm hoping that this review can give you some unbiased, unsponsored, unaffiliated tea opinions to help you if you've been thinking about Buff Bunny. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. I'm gonna start with the sports bra I'm wearing now. This is the Monarch sports bra. I got it in white. I got it like during like the 90s theme launch, you know what I mean? And this is in the Nubre fabric. So their Nubre fabric is the buttery soft fabric. It's definitely soft to the touch. It's brushed. Let's take a gander and see what the website says. So this bra is 44 US dollars, which isn't too extreme, but definitely I would say it's mid-range pricing. And they have it in a variety of colors. I just got white because it goes with everything. And it says it's supposed to be medium low support, which I definitely would agree with. I would say it's medium coverage as well. It does have a V-neck in the front, which shows a little bit of boobage, but this is an older version of the bra. And I think they've brought up the front a little bit since then. So if you're uncomfortable with that, I'm pretty sure it's changed by now, but I love the back of this bra. It's super comfortable. It's straight up and down for the straps, but you have a cute little detail in the back. Very strappy. I've never seen a bra like it before, which is why I just, I had to pick this one up and I definitely would say it's true to size. So I got a size small, which is what the sizing chart said and what I usually wear. If in between sizes, you could probably size down because there's not any seams on the bottom band or anything like that. One thing I want to note about this bra, at least in the white, is you can see the cup pads through it a little bit, which isn't my favorite. I don't know if, how well it's showing up on camera, but you can see the cup pads a little bit there, which may just be because it's a light color. I'm sure that doesn't show for the darker colors. So just be weary. I mean, it's pretty standard for a white bra. I do like this bra. I haven't gotten to a place where I've worn it to the gym without a top over it, just because I feel like the inseam's a little bit short. And what I mean by inseam is the measurement from the bottom of the bust down. You know, this is something I, w I wonder about when I'm purchasing bras and that often that information is not available. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this for you because I actually am curious. It looks like this inseam is 2.25 inches. I don't know if you guys can see that. 2.25 inches is what I would say. I have a pretty short torso just proportionally, but I still feel like this bra doesn't go down as low as I would like it to on my stomach and there's still a decent bit of stomach showing. I wouldn't say it's a long line bra. I wouldn't say it's a short line bra is out of word. I would say it's kind of in between. So 2.25 inseam length. If you have a short torso like me, it'll look longer than someone who has a really long torso. There you go. But Nubre Fabric couldn't find any details on the website right now, but it's their soft touch fabric. Brushed, buttery smooth, and it definitely is very soft and it's going to collect lint and pet fur. So I have a white cat. Thankfully, you can't really tell <laughs> on this bra because, uh, my cat is white. With that being said, I do think it holds up well in the gym. It hasn't pilled at all or anything like that. And I feel like my sweat doesn't show too much through this bra. I feel like it's fast drying and it helps that it's white. I think it's a really unique bra and I would recommend it if you like the silhouette of it. And the pants I'm wearing with this top are the Legacy Leggings and they're an onyx black bossy print and they are $68, which is definitely a mid to high price point. I thought that the back detailing was super pretty and unique and probably flattering and I liked the print and I am not a print girl so this is like one of my only pair of print leggings of course I had to go neutral I wish that it came in like the vineyard red bossy print for this legging I thought it did and I was very disappointed when launch came and it wasn't there but all that to say I love this print I was worried that it was going to give me trichophobia because I do have a little bit of trichophobia I don't like holes together or a bunch of dots together but this is not triggering at all 
to me. So if you're concerned about that, don't be worried. Once you get it, it shouldn't bother your trichophobia. And if you don't know what that is, look it up and then you'll decide if you have that illness or not once you see an image. They're like seven eighths length, go a little bit above my ankle. And what I really love the most about these is the back, the detailing is super flattering. The three tapered glued seams, love it. And also I feel like the print is super flattering as well. It hides lumps and bumps and cellulite and I'm here for it. These are the Nubre fabric once again. So they're the soft touch fabric, but honestly they're pretty compressive. I would say these are a medium to high compression throughout the entire legging. So from waist down to the leg, I would say the compression is pretty even throughout the whole legging. I am not one of those girls who hates front seams I kind of don't care either way but if you hate front seams this doesn't have one and I feel like that helps reduce the camel toeage <laughs> My one complaint with these leggings is I wish there was more compression in the top waistband. I wish that the waistband dipped down a little bit lower to kind of cover my lower stomach. That is my biggest insecurity. So I feel like it's not doing much for my lower stomach region. If that's a big concern for you, I don't think these leggings make it any worse, but they're not doing wonders for it. All that being said, I do like these leggings. I've worn them a few times. I've worn them for leg day, I've worn them for upper body, and they haven't pilled at all. I want to mention to you guys that the inner lining of the legging is white. Can I? <laughs> you see? You see what I mean right there? It's a white legging basically with a print on top of it. So when you do squat or stretch the fabric, it does pull white a little bit. You can kind of see the white peeking through. I don't think it's noticeable really much, if at all. And I would say that it's squat proof. So I definitely like these leggings. And also I noticed I have like a freaking stain on them. What the hell? I need to wash these. <laughs> so upset. But I mean, you can't really tell there's a stain because of, <laughs> because of the pattern. <laughs> So next I will talk to you guys about the shirt that I got with the last launch, which I'm obsessed with when I was going to the launch. This is like one of the items I wanted the most. This is one I knew I needed to get. So the top I got is called the Horizon Top and I got it in ivory and it was $42, which is a little bit pricey, but you're getting a decent bit of fabric. You know, it's a long sleeve shirt. And what I noticed when I put this on is it feels cool to the touch. I love the fabric. It's not the new bray. It's a different fabric. It's a mesh Nimbus fabric. So it's modal polyester and spandex and it's so stretchy and it's cool to the touch and you just feel like <sighs> I don't know, when you put it on, you just feel cooled down. So I can imagine this being very breathable during a workout, but me personally, I'm just gonna wear it for more lifestyle wear, but I just love it. I love the detailing, you know, the mesh at the top gives it a step up from normal. You know, the mesh at the top gives it a little step up. It doesn't just look like a plain white t-shirt and I just am obsessed with it. There is a little Buff Bunny logo on the mesh on the back of it. As you see, very cute. I just think it's very high quality. It has cuffs at the bottom of the sleeves. I just am obsessed with the fabric. It's very stretchy as you can see. And I got an extra small on this top, which I didn't want to get an extra small. I wanted to get a small, but apparently this top was popular and the extra small or the small sold out. So I had to go with the extra small. I figured I would risk it for the biscuit. And when I looked at the sizing chart, surprisingly it said I would be an extra small. So with that being said, I would say it's true to size as the sizing chart says, but I also feel like I would have been fine with the small. So I would say true to size, if in between size up or if you want more oversized size up I think I would have been completely fine in a small as well but I was really concerned that the arms were gonna be too short for me my arms are so freaking long my statistics teacher in high school used to ask me if my arms dragged on the floor if I jump rope with them because they're so freaking long so I was concerned that the arms were gonna be too short for my lanky monkey arms but they fit great it goes all the way to my wrist worked perfectly the shirt also went down to my waistband it's like the perfect length you can wear it to the gym you can wear it for athleisure and i just recommend i really do there's a few left on this site i know it sold out a little bit quick so this might be you know too late <laughs> but I definitely recommend this shirt and this fabric is just incredible. And I think 
I would pay $42 for it again. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the sports bra I got the last launch. This is the Revolution sports bra and I got it in the Onyx color and it was $46. So there are a bunch of colors available on the site and a lot of different sizes. I think this is like one of Buff Bunny's staple pieces, but I was really drawn to it because it looked like it was a different silhouette than what I'm used to. It wasn't the usual scoop neck, it was squared. So it was a little bit more unicue for me. You know, I thought maybe it'd be more worth the money and also has a really cute strappy back. So I splurged and I got it. It's the Nubre fabric once again. So it's soft touch, brushed. It is going to collect lint, but here it is up close can see the brushed material. Of course it has built-in cup pads. It is a sports bra. <laughs> and I don't feel like you can see the, sport, um, the cup pads with this one because it is black. Once again, I got it in a size small, which is what the sizing chart said. I would say it's true to size. And I'm gonna measure the inseam once again because I'm curious if this is longer than the Monarch bra. This is a two point two-ish, basically a 2.25 inch inseam, basically the same as a Monarch bra. So it's kind of a long line bra, kind of in between bra, but I've worn this to the gym, weirdly enough, without a shirt over it, and I did feel comfortable in it. So it covers up just enough, and it's not super booby because of the square neckline. I feel like there's a little bit of cleavage, but it's not too much. And something I really love about it is that the square neckline does have really good coverage for the side boob area. You're not gonna have a lot of spillage over there. So if that's an area you're insecure about, I would recommend this bra. And also I've noticed that the back of it, it's super cute, but it doesn't dig in or anything. I don't have any sausaging that I know of. <laughs> and when I lay down to do bench or anything, this doesn't dig in, this ring. So it's super comfortable. It's very flat to your body and it doesn't seem to get in the way of anything. So I do really like this bra. I mean, it's available in a bunch of colors. So if you're wanting it, I would say go for it. The next leggings I'm gonna be talking to you guys about are the spin leggings and I got them in the brown color journey and I am shocked the site still has a bunch of sizes and different colors available for the spin leggings because I got these months ago during the retro launch. Don't remember what the name of it was, but these were $64 and I got them in a size small and I would say they're definitely true to size. But let's see, it says it's a nylon spandox, spandox, spandex fabric and the inseam is 25 inches. So they're a little bit shorter than the last pair of leggings, but they do go just a little bit above my ankle and I would say they're seven eighths length. Yeah, these are very different than the Nubre fabric. This fabric is a lot more high performance fabric. It's cool to the touch. It's gonna be sweat wicking. So very different. I feel like they're more stretchy than the last leggings as well. So definitely if in between sizes, I would size down. But other than that, I would say they're true to size. And I feel like these are lower compression than the last ones as well. I would still say they're low to medium. And my only gripe with them, once again, actually might have a few gripes. So one of them is once again, I feel like there's not the best tummy control. I wish the seam went down a little bit lower, had some extra compression up there. But back seams are very flattering. They go above the glutes, you're not gonna have anything cut off or anything of the sort. And also the Buff Bunny logo isn't too in your face. But yeah, there's a lot of different seam detailing to these leggings. There's some seams going down the legs, which I feel like could help elongate the legs. There's some going around the calves. I don't have especially long or large calves, so it doesn't cut in or anything like that. But my one thing with these leggings are they have pilled quite a bit and I haven't had them that long, a few months and see if you can tell. There's especially pilling up here by the seam and this is the front of the legging just by the seam. And then you can see as well up here that there's pilling starting to form. And also there's pilling pretty severely at the knee. So this is the left knee. You see there's quite a bit of pilling there. In all honesty, these are not holding up the best. And if I went back in time, I probably wouldn't purchase them again. I thought they'd be a lot more high performance. They would last through workouts, but I think where I went wrong is I wore these for hip thrust. So, you know, the bar is rubbing up against the top waistband and that caused them to pill. And then I think what happened with the knee is I was bringing a block over to do some hip thrusts and there's Velcro on the side of the blocks and the Velcro got stuck to the fabric. So the knee is not so much 
much the leggings fall. That's my fault. It got stuck to Velcro. So be careful with these leggings. They do seem rather delicate. I am disappointed that they are peeling quite a bit and the seams are just very fuzzy. It's just disappointing. It's like these were not a cheap legging. These were $64. Yeah, I'm still wearing them. I don't think it's super noticeable unless you're really close up looking for peeling. So I'm not like embarrassed to wear them or anything. I just wish they held up better because I did pay a lot of money for these. But if you're careful with them, if you're maybe picking and choosing what exercises you do with them, I do think that they would hold up better. This is just my experience. I don't know if I'm alone in this, but there's also like peeling on the sides. It's just all the waistband at the top is peeling and I don't understand. I'm really good with washing my leggings and workout clothes in general. I always hang to dry, wash on cold, flip them inside out. So I don't think I'm being careless. They're not lasting the best, but they are comfortable when you're wearing them. They're super stretchy, cool to the touch, sweat wicking. That's my review. So you guys, those were all the items that I had from Buff Bunny. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments below. Like I said, this was very unsponsored and I will have everything linked in the description below. I upload videos every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so you know where to to find me and I will see you guys next week. Peace out. Bye. Haters, peace.